हेलो सो वेलकम टू दी फोर्थ लेक्चर फॉर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर एट सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज सो टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ अ सीरीज कैन बी डिफाइंड ओके व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सीक्वेंसेस एंड वी आल्सो सो बाय वी रिक्वायर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द एरिथमेटिक्स बिहाइंड सीक्वेंसेस एंड सीरीज ओके so uh, that's what we have done in the uh, last two uh, classes so in today's class we will continue with uh, you know uh, understanding of series and also we will solve a uh, few examples uh, to understand more about the different ways uh, you know where how you can be asked the questions and also some uh, statement kind of problems which you can you know convert into your uh, you know sequences and also get uh, uh, you can evaluate uh, the uh, sums okay with respect to see, uh, sequences and series formula uh, before going into that uh, in uh, in the coming uh, you know few uh, sections of this chapter you will be uh, dealing with uh, some terms other than sequences and series okay so another term which we will be uh, you know sometimes using to explain or you know to uh, put forth uh, the uh, you know different uh, types of sequences is going to be called as progression okay so progression now how is a uh, progression different uh, from sequences okay so as you remember uh, we have said that okay uh, i'll first write the definition of uh, sequences yeah so sequences is nothing but a list of objects or uh, numbers in an ordered fashion okay so this is what we know about sequences and uh, about series okay so series is the sum of the terms okay in a sequence okay so sometimes your sequence can be uh, very long okay up to uh, say 200 or 300 also 300 terms or uh, uh, sequences but uh, the series can be uh, the you know sum of all the numbers or you can find the series up to a certain uh, say nth term of the sequence okay so this is uh, one aspect about series okay so uh, sum of all the terms okay up to n or sum of all terms up to a certain sorry yes okay a certain r where r can be less than 10 okay so a series can be of the two types okay so this is what we know about a uh, series and sequence then we have another term which we will be using further on in this chapter is called the progression okay so now in sequences we are seeing it's a list of objects okay so even though you have been uh, you know we have been uh, seeing uh say sequences uh, of the term as written as where the nth term is given as say a n 5 and plus 2 okay suppose we have been given but this even though this is uh, you know you can get a sequence by applying this formula okay but when the entire sequence is actually uh, you know uh, represented in terms of uh, you know a definite rule or a definite formula that is when it is called a progression okay so progression is a set of numbers which are arranged according to to some 
for according to some definite rule. Okay, so the difference is that the progression has a definite formula. Okay, definite formula, definite or specific formula to calculate the nth term. Okay, just like this example. So, the you know, using this a n is equals to 5 n plus 2, okay, whatever we get as a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4, okay, suppose this is a sequence, okay, while, for example, this a n is equals to 5 n plus 2 will be a progression, okay. So similarly, if you we have you know uh, example as two, four, six, eight, ten. So the progression form of this progression, okay, progression with n term as the two n. Okay, so this is a definite rule that is being followed. Okay, so this is how, uh, you know, sometimes it differs uh, with respect to your, uh, you know, between sequence and progression. So till now, we have been, uh, just wait a moment. So, I think there has been some issue. So, we will put that again uh, later on. So we will continue. Okay, so till now, we have seen, uh, you know, arithmetic, <clears throat> uh, sequences. Okay, so we were dealing with arithmetic sequences. Where are your arithmetic sequences? Okay, so suppose we have arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we have dealt with arithmetic sequence where you will have first term, you have second term. Okay, so you will have a first term and then you will uh, have, you know, A1, A2, A3 all the way. Okay, so suppose if your A1 is equals to A, okay, and the common difference, okay, A2 minus A1 is given as D. Okay, so this is your common difference, common difference. Okay, so therefore the sequence then becomes A, A plus D, A plus 2D, okay, all the way up to A plus N minus 1. D. Okay, so this is the sequence. So now the progression, okay, or the term, when you say, you know, you if you want to write this in the form of a progression, okay, so that is your arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. Then you will get as uh, the nth term is a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, so this is a specific formula with which we are giving the nth term. So hence this can be also called as arithmetic progression. Okay, and thus uh, with, you know, series, or you can also call it arithmetic series. Okay, so this would be the sum of all terms. Okay, so your S up to your N would be N by 2. Okay, 2A plus N minus 1 B. Okay. So your A is your first term and then you have N minus 1 D. Okay, so this is with respect to arithmetic progression. Okay. This is for your arithmetic progression. Okay, so suppose if at any point of time, you know, it's not 
uh, being called as a sequence. It is being called as a progression. So it is the same as a sequence. It's just progression is when you define the entire sequence with respect to the nth term formula. Okay, so let's take a few questions today. So we will be solving with some, you know, uh, numerical uh, itself or, you know, given uh, in the form of statement. And we will try to solve it uh, using the uh, using the formula that we already know about uh, either the uh, progression or uh, the series. Okay, so the first question is. Just a minute. Yeah. So the question is that Jaya. Is saving up, saving up, saving up to rupees twelve thousand. Okay, she 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 kept five hundred. Okay, five hundred rupees in. The count <clears throat> and each month she put in rupees ten more than more than the amount of the previous month. Assuming no in assuming no interest is added. So let's first find find the amount saved after six months. Okay. So now, uh, as you can see that, you know, at the first instance, okay, so our A, A1 will be actually 500. Okay, so that's the first uh, like kind of the principal amount that she is putting it uh, in the uh, uh, account. Okay, and we are saying that each one she puts in 10 rupees more than the amount of the previous one. So whatever uh you know some or uh, you know whatever she has put uh, uh you know she, uh, that has been saved in the uh, previous month more uh, 10 rupees is added to that and put in that okay so she adds 10 rupees at every you know uh, interval so again that would uh, mean that your d is 10 okay so the common difference becomes 10 now after Six months, we would get uh, the total. Okay, so your total saving is equals to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6. Okay, so all the, um, you know, uh, terms that we would get in like the sequence of, you know, where your A1 is 500 and D is 10. So if you add it all up, up to your sixth month, you will get the uh, amount saved after six months. Okay, so therefore, we will use the formula for sum of six months. Of six months savings. Okay, so that would be your SN, suppose we are taking, okay, and your N by 2, the formula is then 2A1 plus N minus 1B. Okay, so over here, your N over here, we have got this 6. Okay, so your n becomes 6 by 2, then your 2a, okay, your 2 into 500, that's the original amount, and you have plus 
you have d as 10 minus 1. Oh, sorry, your n is this. Sorry, uh, yeah, so your n is 6 and minus 1 into 10. Okay, so now what we get as your sn is 6 by 2, you have 1000. Okay, 2 into 500 is 1000. Plus you have uh, 6 minus 1, so 5, 5 into 10, 50. Okay, so this actually then becomes 3 into 1050. Okay, so that is your 0, 15, 1, 1, 3, 1. Five zero. Okay, so after six months, she says, she says, she says, three one five zero. Okay, now the second part of the sum we can say after which month will she reach the goal of rupees 12,000. Okay, now in this uh, instant, again, we will use the uh, formula of Sn is equals to n by 2, 2a, 2a1, this n minus 1, d. Okay, but over here, we have already got Sn. Okay, we want to know what would be the N when we have to get 12,000 as the sum of all the savings. Okay, so therefore, this then becomes as 12,000 is equals to N by 2. 2A, we, A1 we already know, so that is 2 into 500. Plus, you have uh, N minus 1 d your d is 10 okay so let's just solve this or uh, take it over here maybe so this will be 24,000 you have n you have 1000 plus 10 n minus 10 so you will have <coughs> so you have 1000 n this 10 n squared. Okay, sorry, this would be 990. And so you have a minus 10 over here. Okay, so this would be your 990 n. Okay, 10 squared and 2400. Zero, zero. So therefore, we will get this as n squared is 990 n plus 20. Four thousand. This would be ten. Okay, this would be minus. So this would be <coughs> zero. Okay. So then, if you divide the entire thing by ten, you will get as n square plus ninety nine n minus twenty four hundred. This would be zero. Okay, so now, uh, you know, we find the root of n, okay, and then we will get your n. So, to find the root of n, we can uh, easily, you know, do the, uh, either, you know, we can solve it for the, in the sense of the quadratic equations, okay. <coughs> so, this will be, your, wait, uh, just a moment. So, we will have this. With respect to as you know, your A is equals to 1, B is equals to 99, and your C is equals to minus 2400. Okay, so this is what we have. And so now we will try to find uh, the uh, root so, uh, for the quadratic equation. So we will use the quadratic formula. So that is minus B plus minus root of 3 square minus 4 a c by 2 a okay so this would be minus 99 plus minus your b is already uh 
we have got as <clears throat> 99. So we will just write the square of it. 9801 minus. So now you have 4 into uh, 1 into 2400. So that's 9600 upon 2 into 1. So this is 2. This will be minus 99 plus minus so we will find this uh you know the square root of the entire thing so this will be square root of uh 9801 so we actually need to get uh to an approximate uh you know kind of a value so uh, this would actually turn out to be a minus 99 by 2 plus, say, 7.09 or your minus 99 by 2 minus 7.009. Okay, so then you can reduce it down to your... So this will be minus 49.5 to 7.09. So actually, this actually becomes a bit complicated. So, okay, this will be negative, negative. Yeah, so this actually becomes plus. Yeah, so I think that's where the thing is. Yeah, so this actually becomes your yeah. <clears throat> 10.59.3. Okay, suppose we take this as 29.3. Okay, so let's just reduce it quickly. So this would be, so, yeah. so you will have this as 139.3 minus 99 by 2, or you will have minus 139.3 minus 99 by 2. So this comes out as 139.3 minus 99. Okay. So 20.15 or the other one will be 139.3 plus 99. Is minus 119.15. Okay, so now since we are calculating, we are talking about, you know, months uh, with respect to this sum. So this cannot happen. So N cannot be negative. Okay, N cannot be negative. So your N is equals to 20.15. Okay, so 20.15 is not a, a whole, you know, uh, kind of a number because we've got a decimal. So that means that your S of, uh, say, 20, okay, so uh, if your N becomes 20, so uh, your S of, uh, you know, 20.15 is more than your S20. Okay, so your S20 would be less than S20.15. Okay, so that is our, uh, you know, uh, 12,000 uh, rupees that we need. So, since this is not what we want, okay, we want to see where uh, the goal will be reached. Maybe not the exact value, but the, uh, you know, it should be higher than the 12,000. So, therefore, it should be actually S21. Okay, so S21 will be more than your 12,000. So, therefore, the goal will be reached after. 21 month okay from the day from the month that she's actually starting to say okay so this is how we uh, had said you know sequences and series can help you understand uh, predict and evaluate uh, you know anything that can happen a certain uh, amount of time later than what we want to know okay so another let's take another similar kind of a you know a question so suppose you have that a man saves 200 rupees in the first three months. Okay. 
in each subsequent subsequent ma- uh, month he increases his saving by rupees rupees 40 okay more than the month then the immediate okay immediate previous month previous month okay when will his total saving b rupees 11040 okay so let's uh, first see now over here we are seeing that the first three months okay so are the first three uh, terms of the say sequence uh would be uh, you know equal uh, they will be the same so therefore you can have you know a1 is equals to a2 is equals to a3 is equals to 200 okay so therefore saving up to three months is your 3 into 200 is 600 Okay, so this is what we know. Now, let the time taken to save one one zero four zero rupees. Okay, rupees B N plus three. Okay, so this three is the first three months that we already know the savings about. what how many more months that is n is required to reach your uh, go to reach the savings of 11040 rupees okay now as per our understanding our a1 okay will be 240 with respect to n a1 240 after or you know can say from A four onwards. Okay, so for all terms, uh, starting with A four. Okay, for A four or A three. Okay, so you can say A one. Uh, let's not write it as A one. So you know it uh, shouldn't be confusing. Okay, so let's not write A one over here. Yeah. So let's take this just as A. Okay, so from A four onwards. We will write as uh, you know uh, A B two forty because we are adding forty rupees now, okay, and your D is equals to forty, okay. So in in n plus three months savings will be now six hundred has to be added to whatever sum we get with respect to the uh, you know n number of months okay so that will be six hundred plus your s n okay so that is six hundred plus now your n we have to find so n by two okay and now your a one your two a will come okay so two into two forty and then you will have plus n minus one And your D is again forty. Okay, so this is what we know. So this is the part that we need to find out. So therefore, if we just find out the, you know, now S N, as we know that the total of, uh, you know, uh, the uh, total of, uh, as you say, sorry, the total savings that we need to find is actually one one zero four zero. It has to be this. So then, this becomes equal to six hundred plus n by two, and then you will have a two forty into two, so that is four eighty, and then you can you know expand the uh, the bracket, so you have forty n minus forty. 
okay so if you take 600 on the this side you have 10440 is equals to n okay and you divide your entire uh, inside uh, the bracket by 2 so you get as 220 plus 20n okay so because we subtract uh, uh, 40 from 4, 4, uh, 40 from 480, you get 440, and you that divide uh, that by 2, you get 220. Okay, and 20n. Now, again, we get this in the terms of, you know, uh, quadratic uh, equation. So, you have 20n squared plus 220n, and you have minus 10440 is equal to 0. Okay, so divide all across by, say, 20, so you get n squared plus 11n minus 522. Okay, so now we can, uh, you know, get uh, using the same, you know, quadratic, uh, the roots formula for quadratic equation. But we can, uh, you know, easily find that, uh, you know, if we, uh, this can be written in terms of n squared. Okay, so you have minus 18n plus 29n is minus 522 okay because 20 uh, 18 into uh, 29 would give you 522 so it is easy in that sense we can you know find so therefore your n would be equal to 18 or your n will be minus 29 now this cannot happen because months cannot be negative so therefore the saving of rupees one one zero four zero will be reached reached by now we had n plus three okay only with n plus three we would get the total savings as uh, eleven thousand forty. Uh, will be reached by n plus 3, so that is your 18 plus 3, 21 month. Okay, so this is how you know uh, these kind of sums can be solved uh, when you, uh, you know, very easily with respect to using the formula that is uh, associated with sequences and series. Okay, let's do another example. So now Suppose we are asked as find the sum of all the odd integers from 1 to 2001. Okay, suppose this is what we are asked. So, as per that, what would be our odd integers? Okay. Our odd integer sequence will be starting with 1, then 3, 5, 7, all the way up to 199 and 2001. Okay, so therefore, this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, this is an arithmetic sequence. Since we have D is equals to 2. Okay. And your A, the first term is actually 1. Okay. So now we have to find N. Okay. As in to find how many odd, uh, you know, how many terms are there in this sequence. Okay. So then with respect to that, we can find the sum of the, uh, all the uh, terms. So then, therefore, you can write this as A plus N minus 1 B. Okay, and that would be the, the last term. Okay, so the last term we know because this is your nth term. So now, therefore, we can run this as 1 plus 2n, okay, with uh, taking uh, d is equal to 2 and minus 2. So therefore, you have 2n is equal to 2002. So therefore, n is equal to 1001. Okay, so thousand first term is your last term. So n is thousand, uh, one thousand one. So now we can easily find the sum now. Okay, so your Sn 
will be n by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay. And then your n we have now got as 1001 by 2. E is 1 plus R n is 1001 minus 1 and a D is 2. So this you can get as 1001. Uh, you can uh, divide uh, by 2 in the brackets itself. So you have 1 plus 1000 and then you have 1001 into 1001. So actually this is the you know kind of a square. So this you will get as 1002001. Okay, so the sum of all the odd integers between 1 to 2000 and 1 is, uh, is equal to this. Okay. Now let's take another example. Suppose you have been given if Seven times the sorry, if seven times of the seventh term is equals to is equal to eleven times the eleventh term of an arithmetic progression progression show that the eighteenth term of the progression is zero. Okay, so now we've got this. Now, we've not been given any kind of information about the first term or the common difference in this. Okay, so we do not have any of those information. But we have to show that this uh, 18th term uh, is actually zero, okay, in this uh, arithmetic progression that we have. Just a moment, please. Okay, so your seventh term, okay, if you write as A7, is going to be A plus, now N is 7, so 7 minus 1 and D U Q. So this will become A plus 6D. Similarly, your 11th term will be A11 is equal to A plus 11 minus 1 D. So that is A plus 10 D. Okay, so this is what we get. Now, just, you know, uh, your A8 similarly should be equal to A plus 8 minus 1 d so this should be your a plus sorry we want 18th uh, term sorry so yeah 18th term so this should actually be a plus 17 d okay so this is something that we should get when we are solving the sum so now we know that the given uh, condition is that 7 times your a7 is equal to 11 times your a11 so let's uh, solve this now 11 times a plus 10 d. Okay, so we got this. So now this becomes your 7a plus 42d. And then this will be 11a plus 110d. So this then becomes as 4a or you know just uh, get the terms on one side so it's easy to follow up so then this becomes your 7 a so, yeah. so you have 11 a minus 7 a 
plus 110d minus 42d is equals to 0. So what we get now is <clears throat> 4a plus 68d is equals to 0. Okay, so now you can divide uh, 68, uh, you know, by 4. So what you get is a plus 17d is equals to 0. Now, if you remember that we had seen that uh, your A8 is actually going to be A plus 17D. Okay, so you can also write it as A plus 18 minus 1D is equals to 0. So, this is your A8. So, therefore, we can write that hence proved that 18, sorry, this will be 18, that 18 term of the AP, AP is your arithmetic progression is 0. Okay, so it was easy in that sense uh, to find it. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so we uh, saw, you know, how we can uh, find the uh, sum of, you know, first few numbers, no matter what, okay? So, uh, for example, if we have uh, the, uh, let's take an example, yeah. So, such, uh, you know, kind of uh, just evaluation, evaluation kind of, uh, you know, uh, sums. We'll take another example. So, question is that the First, second, and last term of an arithmetic progression are A, B, and C, respectively. Okay, show that. The series or the sum of the AP, okay, arithmetic progression is A plus C multiplied by B plus C minus 2A divided by 2B minus A. Okay, so again, over here, no information about, uh, say, what your, uh, you know, A value is or, you know, D value is. So, we will just use the uh, given conditions and we will try to solve this. So, over here, we can say, since your A1 is equal to A, B is, uh, sorry, your A2, a2 is equals to B and your last term, so say AN is equals to C. Okay, now therefore the common difference, the common difference D is equals to A2 minus A1, so that is B minus A. Okay, so we know this. And our AN can be written as your first term. Okay, so first term is A plus N minus 1 are D. So D is B minus A. Okay, and this is actually equal to your C. Yeah, so A N is equals to C and that is equals to A plus N minus 1 B minus A. Okay, so now we can uh, expand this A plus Okay, so now this would become what? This becomes Bn minus B, then you have minus An plus A. So this then becomes C equals to 2A minus B. Okay, and you will have minus. Uh, we have A minus B N. Okay, so this is what we get. Now, if we try to just, you know, get it in terms of N. Okay, so your N 
would be is equals to b plus c minus 2a okay divided by if you you know get the uh, signs inside so you have b minus a okay so this is what we get now we have to find the sum okay so the sum uh, now we will substitute for n in the sum itself okay so delete so we found n now we will find sn okay for sn again we will uh, use the formula so sn is equals to n by 2 okay uh, 2a plus n minus 1 d okay so this is our formula so we can quickly uh, input so our n okay so our n is going to be uh, divided by 2 so our n was b plus c minus 2a divided by b minus a multiplied by 2 here okay and then in the bracket you have 2a plus your then again this entire you know what we have already done so you can uh, you know kind of segregate this as a plus a plus n minus 1 d okay so we have already got our a plus n minus uh, 1 d okay so we had got it as uh, in terms of this okay so eventually what this comes out as b plus c minus 2a okay and this would be we will substitute this as C over here. Okay, so this and then you multiply this with A plus C upon 2B minus A. Okay, so therefore your SN then eventually becomes A plus C B plus C minus 2A. Okay divided by 2b minus a okay so that is what we were asked and hence we can see that this is hence root okay so this is uh, an easy uh, you know uh, it's a pretty easy sum you only need to use uh, logic and you know then you can you know just substitute for the values and uh, in the formula as per the uh, terms that are given to us so we will stop uh, here today and uh, we will continue in the uh, next class so thank you for attending